Welcome everyone, Greg Lochner for Auto Body Training Solutions. What I want to talk about today is a rule that I've heard applied to straightening sheet metal. I've heard this for years and I want to kind of debunk this. Uh, I've always heard last in, first out. And sometimes it makes sense, but not always. And I'm going to show you why. Say this is just a door panel here and it was hit where it ended up with a small crease and it progressively got a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper and then ended right there on the right hand side. So this is the point of impact. Now looking at a, say the cross view, side view of this door panel, this dent starts getting in and it starts getting a little bit deeper as it goes and then it finally ends right there. So now the rule I'm talking about, and everybody's heard it, last in, first out. So whatever hit this started right here, started out with just a scratch in the paint, progressively got deeper. Here's where it stopped. That's the last in. Okay, now if you would go to remove this first, like the rule said, last in, first out, what you're going to do, you're going to end up stretching all of this, and that stretching is going to continue into this area here. It's going to distort this. It's going to give you more problems. It's going to be harder to straighten. So what I want you to do is start down here at the minimal damage with your pick hammer on the back side, dolly on the outside, and just start working this out. Take your time. You get a little bit farther into it, you may get your bumping hammer and you might want to move this out with that. But Work your way down part way, check it with a straight edge, feel it, put a light on it, come back, do a little bit more until you got it pretty well flat. And you could probably straighten all this, have very minimal warpage. It'll come out nice and straight. You can bring that right pretty close up to where the original is. What's that gonna, what it's gonna do, it's just gonna leave you down here with the main damage. Now uh, you may have some crowning or eyebrows around here and you're gonna work that out, take your time, start around the outside edges, work in just like I showed on that previous video with the small dent, that's what you're gonna do here. But if you start from the first part of impact, work your way in, you can get this pretty well straight and flat and all you have to contend with then is the end of it and it's going to have most of your filler is going to be down here you don't want to try and bring it up perfectly flat because it's going to come up too high so if you can end up with it just a little bit lower and by the time you get back out here you'll have just a skim coat of filler on there probably not much at all but like I said Try this, see if it works for you, but start from that minimal damage and just work your way, take your time, work it all the way out here nice and easy, and all you're going to have left is that, the same thing, you're going to work on that nice and easy, but if you would start right here where it's stretched the most and try and pop that out, it's going to distort it, and that distortion is going to travel all the way down here. So if you can get that straight before you get to this point, you're going to save yourself a lot of time. So give it a try. See if it doesn't work for you. Thanks for watching.